How you doing, folks? This is Peter at the Shalom Peace, and uh, we're going to do a reading in Hebrew and English, uh, the last chapter of Bereshis. It actually um, picks up in the sixth portion of the Prasha and uh, finishes the seventh portion of the Prasha for the usual readings. But I'm just going to read the chapter itself. I don't really follow that schedule. Um, with no further delay, let's just get into the reading. We're in uh, chapter 50. Um, Eor Pesach Levini. Eor Pesach Levinu Toratcha Yehoveh. Short, short blessing, I usually say. Then he fell, Joseph Div. U Pail. Yosef al Pani Aviv. Upon the face of his father, he wept over him. And he kissed him. Joseph ordered his servants. The physicians to embalm. Now the sages will. Uh, let's talk about that word real quick. They they say that they do not remove the blood. Actually, it's just a, um, the the appropriate spices and chemicals. To maintain the bottle, uh, the body of the, uh, because what we're going to do here in, in a little bit is transport Jacob up to back to the land of Canaan. Remember, they're in Egypt at this point when when Jacob uh, 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 goes and begathers to his people. Lechinus uh, adds Aviv of his father to embalm his father. You got the physicians, um, so the physicians embalm uh, Israel. el Israel. Uh, it's Israel. It, they were completed. The Yemilu Lu, the completed for him forty days. Our Bayim Yoms. That's the forty days of embalming. For thus are completed the days of embalming. Ki Chen Yemilu Yemi Hakneitzim V'Yevushu. For him, Egypt did for seventy days. Utsuv Mitzrayim Shivim Yom When they passed the days of the weeping, so what do we have? We have forty days of embalming. Then what? There's seventy there, right? So that means there was thirty days of weeping. Okay, and that's a uh, teaching. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit when they actually bring Yaakov's bone up to Canaan. Uh, they have an additional seven days there, and we'll talk about both of those in uh, just a little bit. Verse four: When they passed the days of weeping for uh, for him, Yosef spoke. Yosef to the household of Paro, saying, "Here, maybe I'll use this. <laughs> uh, so you guys don't get bugged by my fingers." Vierbar Yosef al bits Paro leymer. If please, I have found favor in your eyes. I am not. Speak now in the ears of uh, Pharaoh, saying, My father, made he made me swear. Verse 5, So why is Joseph telling him he made him swear? Because he knows Pharaoh's up to something. So here we go. Saying, indeed, I'm about to die in my grave, which I have dug for myself. In the land of Canaan. So um, he's instructed him, to, he swore to him, saying, Indeed, I'm about to die in my grave, which I have dug for myself in the land of Canaan. There you are to bury me. Shima. Now I will go up, please, and I will bury my father. The Yitza Ayla no the Yechibra as Avin and then I will return via Shiva. So basically he's gonna come back. He's promising he's gonna come back, he's not just gonna take off. And Paro says, Vyoma Paro, go up and bury your father, Ayla Vikhiva Ratz Avika. I like how um, even Pharaoh is saying, go up. So this is spiritual. Even Pharaoh knows that there's something uh, big about this. And bury your father, 
as he made you swear. The sages say, or the ancient rabbis say that Pero was planning on making a, a shrine to Jacob in the uh, Holy Land. Oh, excuse me, in uh, Egypt, and didn't want him to be brought up to the Holy Land, but because uh, the oath, uh, he allowed him to bring him up. Seven, so Joseph went up to bury his father. And they went up with him. All the servants of Paro. The elders of his household. And all the elders of the land of Israel, of the lands of Egypt. So basically, um, you know, all the congressmen and senators, it was a big deal. Uh, we just had um, one of our uh, political officials pass away, and they have, a, they have a huge procession. But wait till you see what they have in plan for this. Uh, eight, and all of the household of Joseph, Joseph and his brothers and the household of his father, uh, only their young children, um, I hope I have this in the in the frame. Their flocks and their cattle. So their children, their flocks, their cattle. Goshen. They did leave uh, them in the land of Goshen, and went up with also the Mo Game Rechiv. Chariots and also horsemen, game, persim. And the assemblage was imposing to the extreme. So they had a huge procession leaving Egypt, going into Canaan. Verse 10, and they came to Goan, Goan Hadad, and Goan Hadad. Which is on the other side of the Jordan? There's a word Hebrew, the word word for Hebrew on the other side or passing over, crossing over, which is Asher Jordan of the Jordan, and they they eulogized there. a eulogy, great and imposing, misafed gedol v'chabad v'chabad moed again. Saying it again. You don't usually repeat things in Torah twice if this is a small thing. No, this is a major procession uh, of the greatest that Egypt would muster at that given time. And he observed for his father a mourning period of seven uh, days. The Yes, the Yaviv, Avil, Shevez, Yemim. Okay, so. Now, here we go, another mourning period. So we had the 40 days of embalming earlier. Then we have the 30 days to make it 70, where they still were in Egypt before they left. Now they left, they've gotten into Canaan, and what do they have? Another seven days of mourning. Okay, so I guess the idea is that we should really um, not limit our mourning, but it should be manageable. We're not supposed to carry on the rest of our lives with mourning and sorrow and depression. Uh, the scripture, what's the passage? The joy of the Lord is, is your strength. You know, so there's joy in the presence of the Lord, okay? So this is, um, this is very important. <clears throat> be determined, of course, to be heartbroken and sorrowful for the loss of loved ones um, in, in difficult times, but do not let it overcome you. Okay, verse 11. Sorry, I thought I'd add that in there. I thought it was really important when I learned that uh, many years ago. Vigera and saw, and when they saw Yeshuv Haaretz Hachanan, Hachanani, all the Canaanites, they saw this long procession come up. When they saw to the, uh, the inhabitants of the land of Canaan, the morning in Goran Hadad, they said, Az Ha'evil Goran Begoran Hadad. They said, a mourning that is imposing is this for Egypt. Therefore, he called its name, which means the mourning of uh, the sorrow of Egypt. 
Eilchen Chura Shema Eidel Mitzrayim, which is on the other side. Eishur Ever Ever Beiver. Remember that word. Hayordan of the Jordan. Verse 12, his sons did for him exactly as he had instructed. Um, so basically, as, as they were commanded. 13, they carried him, did, the, did his sons to the land. So now, um, now it's Israel, his sons, uh, carrying him in his um, coffin uh, into Canaan. Um, the, the pallbearers, I guess, took over at this point. Okay, we're not going to have the Egyptians uh, bring bring Yachav into the Holy Land to this temporary waiting place. Uh, and they buried him in the cave of the field of Michpelah. In the field of Abraham, that Abraham had bought at the, at the field legally possessed for a burial site from Ephron, uh, Ephron the Hittite. Facing Mamre, El Pani Mamre, Memra. Joseph returned to Egypt, Veshuv Yosef Memitzraim. He and his brothers, who Veshuv Veshil Ha'elim, and all who had gone up with him to bury his father, Oitz Lechuvur as Aviv, after he buried his father, Echri. Kurburu as Aviv. It's Aviv. They saw, verse 14, um, the Yiru, the Yiru, Achi Yosef. They saw, did the brothers of Joseph, that their father had died. Chimaz, Avihim. Uh, some say, when we receive this, Viera, they saw, it's kind of a spiritual in, uh, indication that something spiritual has changed. Okay? Um, <clears throat> did the brothers of Jesus, uh, of Joseph, that their father had died, and they said, Viemuru, lo, please, the Sitzmenu, Yosef, perhaps, actually, it, uh, um, you can use the word for uh, please also, perhaps, Joseph will harbor ha hatred against us. Okay, it's so like, uh oh. And they will pay, and he will surely repay us for all the evil that we dealt um, him. The Heshuv, Yeshuv, the Nuez, Chel Ha'ure, Chel Ha'ure, Esher Gemulunu, Gemulunu Ezuv. So the evil that we dealt him. Now they're like, oh no, now that uh, he's done honoring our father um, and not, de you know, bringing us um, to consequences for what they did to him, selling him into Egypt, he's going to turn on us now and this is over for us. And, and so they instructed El Yosef, they instructed to tell Yosef what they sent. They sent some messengers, obviously, saying, Luimar, your father instructed before his death. So they came up with a lie, basically, to save their necks. Saying, Thus shall you say to Joseph, uh, Oh, forgive, please. The flagrant offense of your brothers and their sin, Pesha Achicha Vechitzutim, and their sin for evil they have done dealt you, Ki Roy Gimluicha Gimluicha. So now, forgive, please, the flagrant offense of your servants of uh, of the servants, the um, Vyosa Sana. 
Le Pesha, Avidi, servants of who? Of the God of your father. Elohi, Evicha, and Joseph wept when they spoke to him. So when he heard this message from these messengers, he started crying. V'yevuch, Yosef, Bedirim, Elif. He actually wept. This is a, Joseph is a very uh, emotional, passionate person as well, of course. But he also managed it very well when he needed to. 18, they went, his brothers also, the uh, game Echiv, and fell down before him. And they said, Here we are to you as slaves. But say to them, Did, they, did Joseph, Joseph, do not fear, El Surev. Ki is it that of God am I? For Ki Hetzuchis Elohimani. Although you intended for me harm, Vyusim Hetzvitsim Elirev. Ten of you basically intended to create harm from Elohim God. Heshiva intended, Heshiva, he, he, he turned it around. Letuva, for good. Lemain, Esa, Chiyum, to accomplish, in order to accomplish, it is clear this day is Chiyum, it's up. This day, keeping alive a people that is numerous, Lechitz, Aim, Reb. 21, so now, Reza. Do not fear. Uh, um, I will sustain you and your young ones. Thus he comforted them and spoke to their heart. I love that part. So basically, he spoke to their heart. He's speaking heart words to them, encouraging them, and um, letting them know that not only they will be taken care of, but even their children um, will be blessed by him. Joseph, 12, Yeshuv, Yosef, Ba Mitzrayim, Huva, in Egypt, he and the household of his father, Ahuva, Aves, Aviv, and Joseph lived 110 years. V'yichai Yosef mo v'yosa shanim. So I have a notes here uh, I learned from Rabbi um, that he lived as, uh, he was 30 years old when he became king. He was 39 when Yaakov came. Uh, he reigned for 17 years in Mitzrayim after, uh, after that, after Yaakov came. So what is that? That's um, 59 years. So he reigned in Egypt for 59 years, okay? And he was um, 110 years old, obviously. There's another 56 there. Okay, um, excuse me, or 56 years. Joseph saw through Ephraim, children of the third, also the sons uh, of the third generation. Uh, the Yira Yosef, Joseph saw the Yira Yosef Leifrim, Beni Shilishim, Gim, Beni Mechir, also the sons of Mechir, son of Manasseh, Ben Manasha, Manasseh, Yelid, were born El Berachi Yosef on the knees of Yosef. So, what does this mean, on the knees? Do I have a note on that? On the knees, is that, I guess that just means that. He was there. I don't have a note on that. I should should have marked that. The Yomar Yosef Al Hekhiv. Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die. And Ochim notes. Um the Elohim Pichad, but God Yepichad. Pichad Yepichad. So God will surely remember you. Remember, remember uh, you. It's it's and bring you up out of this land. The Hela this very land he will take you up out of to the land that 
He swore to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, Al Haaretz Eishur Neshiva, the Abraham, the Yitzchak, the Yaakov. Then Joseph made him swear. Now here comes Joseph making make sure people have oaths. The Yishuv, Yosef, twenty five. Oh, we're getting close to the end here. Uh, the children of Israel, as v'ni Israel, made them swear, saying, "Zayelayumar, saying, Pechad Yipchad, Elohim, God will surely remember you, Edsuishim, and you must bring up my bones from this place, Ve'ahelisim, as Edsmoisi, Mezah." So, bring up his bones. We'll find out in Exodus when uh, Moshe. Brings out the exodus of the children of Israel that everyone uh, comes out. Um, and uh, here we go, final verse of 50. The Yomar Yosef, uh, excuse me, the Yomar Yosef, jo Joseph died at the age of 110. Uh, ben Mo, the Yosef Shanim, 10, um, 110 years. They embalmed him, the Yechenetzu. Oitzo uh, v'yeshin, and um, and he was placed in a coffin in Egypt. The Aaron, but Mitzrayim, and then here is the uh, exhortation. Whenever we get done with one of the five books, uh, reading it, we we say Chazak Chazak v'niz Chazak, and may we be strengthened. Be strong, be strong, and may we be strengthened. All right, thanks for um, joining me. I think this is my third or fourth time reading through the Torah, and I just got done with Bereshis. Baruch Hashem. Hallelujah.